Some folks have been saying, especially in my comments, that uh, this Call of Duty situation featuring Nick Merckx, Tim the Tapman, and featuring Dr. Disrespect has no steam. It will never become a real full boycott like Bud Light or Target. It, it's just not going to happen. This sort of thing happens all the time with Call of Duty every single year, and nothing ever changes. People still play the game. Well, I think that things are a little bit different this time. I just do. I mean, at the end of the day, no matter how much gamers love gaming, they love their children even more and you can't stop that no matter what you try to do it's human nature for christ's sakes the lines are drawn and while conservatives libertarians centrists l's g's and b's have all sat idly by for the past few years nodding in confusion as the t q plus brigade have wormed their way into every single institution bastardized everything that once was good and righteous about the world and basically forced the former party into a corner we've all had absolutely enough Turns out that when you target the children, you awake the primal defense mechanism in all sane and sensible adults. And Call of Duty is finding out, just like Bud Light and Target did, that when you push radical, deviant, antisocial sexualities towards kids, you're going to be the ones who end up tucking it between your legs and running for your lifestyles. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there, and yes, it's another video about Call of Duty and the boycott. I hope no one's getting tired of this at the moment. For, personally, I'm finding this very, not entertaining, but it's fueling, you know, the righteous indignation that we've all been feeling for a long time. And it's also vindication for gamers, proof that we're not terrible people, like they've been trying to say that we are for the last, what, decade, decade and a half now. We've all had the moral panics with the guns and stuff. We've had to listen to people like Jack Thompson and, that, and all those idiots coming at us for stupid little things, blaming us and our games and our hobbies for every bad thing that happens in the real world. Well, it turns out that gamers are actually quite decent human beings at the end of the day. And again, if you're going after the kids, we're going after you. This is not going to stop. In fact, you can just look because in the last few days, Call of Duty... Activision as well, of course, at large. I've put out a number of uh, tweets and, and they've all been ratioed to hell by bigger, better creators than I. And they've also been just ridiculed in the comments, which when they've been allowed, mostly quote tweets these days. But basically, anytime you go on Twitter and look up anything released by Call of Duty that they haven't yet deleted, it's going to be nothing but leave children alone and occasionally references to the wall. Of course, hey, leave those kids alone, you know? So let's take a look at some of this just for our own fun today and judge for ourselves whether this boycott has no steam. Okay? Okay. So let's go over to Twitter then. Here is the Call of Duty page. Now, of course, there are lots of things on this page that were here um, but are not anymore. But that doesn't mean there's not still plenty to pick from. For example, let's uh, let's have a look. They're obviously they're they're pushing this season four launch uh, that comes out today, I believe, and they're really, really, really running with this ball. They're trying their best to get you know some good press and turn this situation around. While of course still burying their heads in the sand and pretending like they didn't piss off the entire gaming community and culture at large. So you know. Obviously, these things are going to have some backlash. Here's one of the maps, uh, Vondel. You're going to fight for survival through Central Station, Fire Station, and the Police Department. Wow, look at this. It looks uh, it looks pretty cool. Let's go to it. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the video. You know, this is a usual sort of crap that you expect from Call of Duty. I haven't played a Call of Duty game in more than 10 years, by the way, so I'm a little out of touch. But, you know, I still know what's going on. I keep up with the zeitgeist. It's my job and my just my habit in general. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the replies to this. You know, it's going to be a lot of, ooh, I can't wait to play this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, first result is D-Day Cobra, of course. Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Leave children alone. <laughs> Retweeted and replied, leave those kids alone. Leave kids alone. Leave our kids alone. Ryan Kinalake Outpost. Leave children alone. Yellow Flash. Leave the children alone. Lady Gravemaster. Leave children alone. Please tell us. Oh, no, this is actually uh, one of those that's actually about the game. If you guys can add this, it'll be huge. Wow. Actually, someone who's not talking about this. Someone else says, comes out on my birthday. Someone else says, looks great, can't wait to play. Fantastic. Uh, missile strikes that don't destroy the brick wall. Very good. They're complaining about other things too. Oh, wait, here we go. Leave. Children alone. Uh, alone children leave. Um, 
that's right leave children alone activision <laughs> wow Koi tecmo and capcom shaking hands with black rock of course black rock um one of those companies that is completely in the pocket of the wef um and of course is a progenitor of dei and lgbt and pride and all of this stuff at least until the you know the money starts to disappear and then they might stop uh, another one here oh someone replies you will own nothing and be happy from agenda 2030 that we've all seen and is an advert that they actually put out not in fact a conspiracy theory uh listing several companies that are owned and operated by blackrock and they're basically all of the shittiest companies around all the companies that push this trash that we hate loads of them are pharmaceutical companies and so on and so forth hmm people don't like blackrock very much either what else we got uh, but you won't fight for children, will you? Leave kids alone. Leave those kids alone. Literally coming out of a, a war. Very good. Nice reference. Leave children alone. This one is particularly good. Oh, is this the new map? Remember MAP? Minor, minor attracted person. Or another way of saying... I know how much you guys at Activision like maps. Maps are your favorite. Am I right? Very good. Very good marsupial gamer. Very good. Um, so then we carry on here. Oh, look, there's someone. There's someone we might know. Leave children alone. Wow, even I got a like. Ha! <laughs> and I got barely any followers. You can always follow me on Twitter, by the way. It's up there. Will of the fans. Easy to find me on everything. It's all Will of the fans. Uh, tomorrow will be embarrassing for you. Leave children alone. Leave the children alone. Leave the kids alone. Leave children alone. Here comes the angry mob. Leave children alone. Hill versus Babyface. Leave children alone. Time to stop boycotting all games. Bl uh, Activision, Blizzard Entertainment. Apologize to Nick Merckx and Tim the Tapman. And leave children alone. Trash. Leave the kids alone. <laughs> Still waiting on that new Bud Light skin. Leave the children alone, you blah blah blah. Sources close to reality. Tell me your sales are not going to be good tomorrow. Call of groomers. Leave the children alone with a... A toddler there, or a three or four year old tucking dollar bills into a man's bunched up, tucked up panties. This place, Vondel, is probably groomer heaven. This won't help, assuming that they're acknowledging there's only two genders is the only way out of this mess. Call of groomers, leave children alone, Chief, leave children alone, you get, you get the point. Now, you might be thinking that's only one, so let's go down to the next one and uh, take a look at that as well. We've got Black Cell here. Um, what do we see straight away? Erotic. Leave children alone. Leave children alone. Leave our kids alone. Leave kids alone. Leave kids alone. Leave children alone. Leave children alone from the Hijabi Gamer. Leave children alone from Josiah Rises. Leave children alone. Uh, call of <laughs> modern groomers <laughs> with, with Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> You really don't get it. People that enjoy playing your game love children more. This is what I said. Very good. Integrity means more. You should publicly acknowledge, uh, apologize rather to Nick Merckx and Tim the Tapman. Nick said what every fair-minded parent sees. Children are being targeted but should be off limits. It's exactly what I was saying in my last video on the subject. You are saying that if we say it is uh, time to protect children, that that is anti-LGBT. So what you are saying is that pro-LGBT is destroy children good luck with that mentality seriously keep people's bedrooms out of kids classrooms have you apologized blah 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 okay 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 so that's two all right let's keep going down find another one let's keep uh i don't know i don't know one of these battle pass highlights okay that'll do let's take a look let's take a look okay uh to stop nick nick toes master plan you'll need the best gear for the job lock in with season four battle pass blah 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 Leave children alone. <laughs> Leave children alone. Leave the kids alone and go use a restroom for God's sake. Leave children alone. Groomers on duty. I am gay and I think what Call of Duty has done to Nick Merckx is so sick. I'm calling on Activision to officially apologize to him and return his content to the game. I'm also calling on Activision to make a statement condemning child grooming. Who agrees? I certainly do. Thank you very much. That's right. Uh, leave children alone. Bro, you ain't winning. Just leave children alone. What's wrong with protecting children? We need to stop your sinister plan of grooming the kids. Leave children alone to the wood chipper for Call of Duty blums and groomers. This is what they're providing for children in public schools and libraries. Oh my god. This is what is literally uh, in children's books in schools. Um, I'm not going to keep that on the screen for very long. That is absolutely disgusting. Uh, gotta be 17 to play the game, but only 3 to learn about sex, according to y'all. Leave children alone, leave children alone, leave children alone. 
Nah, leave children alone, delete this game, leave little children alone, leave children alone, leave kids alone, leave children alone, nobody cares, groomers, leave children alone, how about people just leave kids alone, nah, leave the kids alone, this is what Call of Duty defends, every single parent that traumatized their children by bringing them to this godless event should be in jail for grooming and abuse, yes, leave kids alone, why are the pride flags censored for the players in the Middle East, <laughs> no one will be buying any of this, we don't like profiles, and there you go. Conclusive proof that this has got plenty of steam is not going anywhere and is not going to stop anytime soon. You messed with the bull, Call of Duty, and now you get the horns. This world has gone mad, and it is up to sane people like us to use what av whatever power we have, what platforms we have, to fight back and stop this madness once and for all for the good of the future of humankind. Okay? That is all there is to say about it. And if you are siding with the freaks who freak out when they can't touch and talk to your children, you're part of the problem. And that means you're going to have to learn the hard way. So there you go. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter. Get the Discord link from the description and subscribe if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video very, very soon. But until then... See you next time.